Hi friends, I was thinking making a video about black holes for some time now. When astronomers shares with us the first photos that prove that Sagittarius A, a mass in the center of the Milky Way, is a giant black hole, I made my decision to cover videos about this topic with different interpretation. Astronomers are constantly researching black holes. Although this isn't a topic a lot of people are knowledgeable about, it's easy to find resources about the limited advancements in this field of research. The important thing is to learn about these formations to widen our perspectives and read the universe properly. This way we can strengthen our thought processes. Otherwise, filling our brains with mounds of scientific information is no use for us humans. To witness the process that the Creator created in this universe unfold is a whole other level of awareness for us humans. Let us try to briefly understand this information black holes, black holes. without droning in too much detail. Black holes form when stars can no longer withstand their own gravity and start to collapse in on themselves. This happens when stars are close to running out of fuel. The balance between the star's gravity and its pressure starts to fade. As the nuclear reactions within the star come to an end, the pressure within the star cannot match the star's gravity and the implosion starts. During this, if the star's mass is more than 40 solar mass, a huge explosion occurs, which is called a supernova. With this explosion, the star starts to pull in everything within its range. In other words, it turns into a black hole. Although there are two theories on the formation of black holes, the one I explained is more heavily accepted by scientists. Astronomers have discovered the existence of black holes by examining the objects around them, seeing that they are being devoured by the black hole. After a star turns into a black hole, a strong force of gravity forms on its surface. The surface is called the event horizon. The pull at the event horizon is so strong that even light can't escape. Because of this, it looks like a huge black hole. If you remember the video I made about the colors, we discussed that black is not a color. It's a condition that occurs when an object doesn't reflect light. Because black holes don't reflect light, they appear black. At this point, let us think for a bit. Space is something we make sense of using the terms place and volume. A black hole, however, pulls in its own place, volume and everything within its range of gravity. This way, it takes everything it pulls in out of space and into an unknown place. Black holes devouring things and taking them out of space is a real interesting phenomenon we face during our journey to discover the universe. Let's think about it. The star pulls in its own mass, light, place, volume, space and time and divorce them. Maybe the black holes take the things and divorce to another place. Imagine what kind of unknown metaphysical rules are in the works beyond the black hole, out of our universe. Just like the quantum world has its own rules, can this world beyond the black hole have its own rules? The freezing or evolving of time and place into some other thing in a black hole shows us the power of the creator and tells us about the term infinity. It reminds us that there are worlds outside of our universe and that life is not limited to our world and that different worlds are waiting for us beyond that. Are black hole sky tunnels that carry us into other worlds? Do they show us that there are other worlds that have been created beyond our universe? Black holes devouring everything. Can that be the starting point of the apocalypse that exists in many belief systems? Let's also look at the Big Bang which gives us clues about the creation and its relation with black holes. Big Bang tells us that the creation started from a singularity. Do black holes pull everything into singularity? Do these massive black holes carry traces from the Big Bang? According to research and predictions, the biggest black holes were quickly formed when the universe was young, about a million years old. But is a billion years enough for these huge black holes to be formed? 
In other words, as some researchers say, were these early black holes formed as a result of big stars exploding? Or were they formed at the early stage of the Big Bang as a result of this huge explosion? The predominant view of astronomers is the latter. The formation of the first black holes during the Big Bang and the formation of other black holes after that shows us that, by the will of the Creator, the process of creation continues. By the way, I want to point out something very, very important. Both the Big Bang theory and the theories on the formation of black holes are not the absolute truth. Scientists put forth the information that they gather as a result of extensive research, but new resource and information can always contradict and negate previous knowledge. Friends, according to the latest scientific predictions, supermassive black holes as their names suggest are massive, the smaller ones reside at the center of galaxies that are millions of times larger than the sun. The larger ones are hundreds of billions of solar mass. It is estimated that these black holes grow for billions of years by feeding on gas, dust and other objects and black holes around them. Scientists are discovering the magnificence and vastness of the universe and the mysterious worlds of black holes. They are trying to understand this huge mysterious field in awe. So, we should try to understand and interpret the results of their research and try to witness the wonders of the creation our Creator puts forth. Dear friends, please share our channel with your loved ones and goodbye.